hi welcome to Kenyatta Creates. I'm Kenyatta and welcome to my channel. Today this is my Saturday video where I show you my makes and whips and whatnot but I don't have any whips this week. The first item I made I do not have. I have to show you a picture. It is by it was a tutorial you hear on YouTube by Yay for Yarn for a sun hat. Um we're doing the yarn boards monthly theme beach theme so i made a sun hat for my grandbaby here's a picture right here and it turned out really really cute she doesn't like hats of course of course but it turned out really cute um i used i used this yarn from this mary maxim kit that i got called euro baby babe soft cotton worsted and it is in a color candy corn and it is 55% acrylic and 45% cotton it is so pretty and it, and it turned out so cute on her <laughs> yeah excuse my little chin hairs. I gotta get some facial wax to get it waxed from Amazon. It hasn't came in yet, so excuse this part. <laughs> okay, the next thing I made was from this book, The Year of Dishcloth by Maggie Weldon. And I will leave the link to that tutorial uh, for the sun hat in the description box if you're interested in making a sun hat and it isn't it's it goes from babies to adults and it's real easy to make uh, I made this flag dishcloth and it turned out so cute I mean really cute and this is what the back looks like if you're interested but it turned out so cute and I used yarn B Pima Supreme in gold and this is 180 yards 100% Pima cotton then I used for the blue yarn B fundamental cotton in French blue and this color is French blue like I said and is 164 yards and 100% mercerized cotton. And then for the white, I used um, Lily Sugar and Cream. And for the red, I used Lily Sugar and Cream. So yeah, I think this turned out really, really cute. I love it. And the next thing I made, and I will leave a link to that book down in the description box. I got that from Amazon. Next thing I made is from Pamela the Doring Crochet. It is a pay for pattern. She uh created this Harry Potter put this back so uniform this is Hermione's uniform she got the socks and the shoes the cloak the sweater the skirt and this is just Gryffindor colors so she got the Gryffindor scarf I love it I do want to remake this in Hufflepuff colors because I am a Hufflepuff but this was what she made the pattern of so I went toward the pattern and I love it. Y'all been watching me. Y'all know I love Harry Potter. So this was right up my alley. I mean, oh goodness. I borrowed the doll for my daughter. This is a My Generation doll. I got to get my own so I can make more doll clothes because Pamela makes awesome doll clothes. And I want to make more. But this one, I knew I had to make. I knew it. When she said she was making a Harry Potter doll outfit, I knew I was going to get it. So I will leave a link down to this link to this pattern and her channel down in the description box if you want to check it out. Make, make it for yourself or for somebody who has an 18 inch, 18 inch doll. 
because it is really cool. And the last thing I made, let's scoot this back up, is from Pixie Memory Creates. And she made this cauldron. And it comes with, a, it's called a Halloween Bunch Amigurumi Pattern. And this is the, the cauldron. She has uh, felt eyes and makeup for the blush, but I didn't do any of that. I just used some um, safety eyes that, hold on. Oh, you know what? I'll go back to it. Because I didn't even show you the yarns I used for the hair product. I used the safety eyes that I got from Dory K. Thank you. It was some big eyes. And this, this gray is Yarn Inspirations Burnet Super Value in the color True Gray. And this is a hundred and no, 440 yards. And that's the color of the cauldron. And for the the soup or whatever's in there it is I love this cop I love the yarn in the color key lime and this is 100% acrylic in 355 yards and for the cheeks I use yarn inspiration burnet super value in the color carrot and again, this is 440 yards and it's 100% acrylic. And for the mouth, that's black embroidery floss. It turned out really, really cute. So again, thank you for the eyes, Lori. Really appreciate it, they came in handy. So let me show you the yarn I used for the Harry Potter one. This is what the pattern looks like. It's 18 inch doll wizard outfit by an, by Pamela Barton. An, an enduring doll clothes pattern. And you can you can make pants with it as well. But I didn't have a boy doll, so I just made the skirt. For the dark gray in the skirt, I use charcoal from Red Heart Super Saver, 100% acrylic. And this is 364 yards. For the gold, I use Big Twist Varsity Gold, 100% acrylic, number four weight, and this is 380 yards. For the sweater, I use this Karen One Pound in the color Soft Gray Mix. And this is number four weight, 812 yards. I love this gray, especially when I'm doing Harry Potter um, figures or Harry Potter colors. This is the gray that I go to. And for the black, I use Big Twist in black. Same specs as the gold. For the burgundy, I use this scrap yarn I have. Um, I think this is Red Heart Super Saver in burgundy. It doesn't feel like Big Twist wine, so I assume this is burgundy. And that is it. It came out super cute. I mean, I ran out of, uh, I was using a scrap ball of the gold and black, and I had to go buy some more, which I showed in a, a small haul video. But other than that, I had the yarn I needed, and I'll show it again because it's really, really awesome. <laughs> Oof, it's about to fall. I got this um stand. 
from Amazon so the dog could stand on. It is so cute. So that is all I have for you today. Like I said, I don't have any whips because um, I finished everything that I was working on. Well, we do have a whip, but I can't show it here because it's my um, Stitcher Library project. I'm almost done with that. But I will show that on my Stitcher Library video. But all my other video, all my other projects, these are, they are already finished. So thank you for taking the time to watch. What is that? Give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified whenever I post another video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.